Over the last couple of weeks, there's been an increasing number of threads in the Android community forums of people experiencing a new bug with their home screen launcher. It doesn't seem to matter which launcher is set to default or how many times you tell Android to always use that app as the default, the option just keeps getting reset. And it turns out that there's some type of bug with the digital well-being application that is causing this same problem for so many people. I'm seeing people notice this issue with Gmail if they have multiple email applications installed on their device as well. So it seems to be a bug that keeps resetting the default app that we have set up and configured. So if you're experiencing this issue, then the first thing that I can recommend is that you clear the data and the cache for the digital well-being application. And you can find that by going in the settings and then the apps and then finding the digital well-being app there. Know that if you do not find it in this list, it may be a system app. So show system apps if required. After clearing the cache and the data for this application, if you continue to notice this bug, then I suggest going into the digital well-being application itself and making sure that focus mode is disabled and it is not set to turn on at all. There are a few ways that focus mode can be enabled in the background. So go through any schedules that you may have set up within the digital well-being app and make sure focus mode is not set to turn on. Now, if you don't want to give up using digital well-being or its focus mode feature, then the last option I can suggest to fix this issue with the default launcher app is to downgrade it to an older version. Now, whatever bug is happening with the digital well-being app, it only started recently and it has been reported that downgrading to a, ver to a version before the bug was introduced has fixed the issue for them. Now, I'm not sure exactly which version of the digital well-being has the bug in it. So I would advise to downgrade this application to a version from either June or July. And if you're not familiar with how to downgrade an application on Android, be sure to check the video description below as I'll include a link to a dedicated tutorial that I did on the subject. And after you downgrade the application, be sure that you go into the Google Play Store application page for Digital Wellbeing and set the application to not automatically update. That way the older version stays installed while Google works to fix the bug that's causing this issue.